today I'm going to attempt to do a video on my iPhone, which is something that I've never done for YouTube. Um, but I've seen a couple of people do it in their vlogs, like when their camera dies. And so, yeah, they use their phones. But I've never done it before, so I'm a little afraid. I don't know if I'm even gonna have space on my phone for all this footage that I'm about to record, but we will see. I am currently in Beverly Hills. I wish I could tell you guys that I just moved here to LA and that this is my new apartment, but it's not. It's my friend Kieran's and her boyfriend. Um, her boyfriend is currently in London and she's at work right now. So I'm visiting her for a couple of days for a few reasons. A, she had been asking me to come visit her and I love her and I always wanna come out here to LA because every single time I come here, by the way, <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I'm not sick. At least I don't think I am. I just have a really annoying cough So if I sound a little raspy, it's because I'm just dealing with an annoying cough She was telling me that I should come visit her and then um, At the same time Laura Mercier invited me to an event that they're having tomorrow here in LA So it all worked out. I was like, okay, perfect. I got this invitation for an event Kieran wants me to come visit her. I want to go. I'm on spring break and on top of that one of my aunts works for Southwest and she actually had a buddy pass waiting for me that I was supposed to use a long time ago, but um, I just hadn't because when you use a buddy pass, you fly standby and uh, it's, you know, you don't know if you're going to get on the flight and I don't really travel alone unless I'm going to Toronto and I would never use it to go to Canada because that would just give me way too much anxiety. Um, so I hadn't used it and of course if I'm traveling with friends I don't want like everyone to leave me and get on the plane and then me be like, oh, you know I might get on so I figured well, I'm traveling alone this time so I could definitely use it so I took advantage and Yeah, I'm here. That's a really long story. The good news is that I did get on that first flight out So I didn't have to wait at the airport for a second I was nervous and I wasn't sure if I was gonna get on because I was like there were like eight people on standby, but we all got on. So yeah, the important thing is that I'm here, I'm here with my friend, I'm having a great time, and I don't care if I'm stuck at the airport hours on the way back because I don't have anywhere to be the next day anyway. Like I said, I'm on spring break. So it is currently Tuesday. I got here yesterday and I leave on Thursday. So because I was flying standby, I really did not want to check in a bag because I didn't want my bag to get to LA and then me not and Just like I've lost luggage before not it being my fault But like the airline has done that and it's the most annoying feeling in the world and That just could not happen to me like no, so I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna check in a bag I'm just going to take a carry-on with me and actually you can take two bags so you can take your carry-on and then you can take like a personal bag so I decided to do that and I've flown quite a few times so at this point I just like have it down and I have a lot of travel size uh, products so yeah I knew that I would be able to make it happen and even though I'm the type of person that loves to have a ton of options, I knew that I could make it happen. I had a carry-on that I would take everywhere, but I completely forgot that the last time I used it, I was on my way back from uh, Cancun, and the handle broke as I was pushing it on the plane. So you can imagine how funny that was. I was, on, I was in the aisle pushing the luggage, and yeah, it broke. I forgot that I threw that luggage away and that I didn't have it anymore, so we keep our luggages in the garage and then the only one that i can find was so small it was like this little red one which is i have it right here because i brought it look how small it is i could just lift it up like this it's tiny and i was like i'm just gonna make it work i posted a picture on my instagram story and if you want to follow me on instagram it's albameo and i said and you probably wouldn't guess this but i'm a professional light packer and everyone was like, how? Like, I got so many messages from people saying, like, teach us, tell us how you did it. And um, I was like, I will, I'll make a video on it. But, like, when do I ever make a video? I'm so not present on my YouTube channel. I am, like, the worst YouTuber of all time. But my friend Kieran actually wants to start making videos. So, yeah, I have been giving her so much advice on like what to do and what camera to get when to upload i'm like over here telling her the things that 
I should be doing myself. Um, but I am in school full time. I should do like a complete different video on like what I've been up to. I don't want this to be super long. So I don't really have the time, but that's why I'm testing this out because I'm, of course I have a camera and I was gonna bring it, but I forgot um, my battery charger at my place in San Jose and I left from Oakland. So yeah, I had the intention to bring it though. I had packed it and everything with the little tripod. So I was like, okay, I want to go back to YouTube myself. I want to create content and I'm not always going to have my camera on me. Plus, I don't have a small vlogging camera. I have a Canon DSLR, so it's huge. And the whole point of this was I'm trying to pack light. So it just didn't work out. I want to know if I can actually make YouTube videos from my iPhone whenever I'm traveling or something. And if I can do that, like if I can prove to myself this works, then you'll be seeing a lot more content from me. And right now, in case you're wondering, I have my phone propped up against like on top of two boxes. So you gotta work with what you have. I feel like I've been talking so much. So let's just dive right into this video and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I brought. The only two bags that I brought were the luggage that I just showed you and then this bag right here, which is like a little pleather uh, duffel bag. This is from Target. I got it a few years ago and I just needed something that, I just didn't have a little duffel bag and it's very essential. I use this when I go to the gym. I use this when I'm gonna go spend the night at a friend's house or whatever. It's like, it's so convenient. So in here, like I said, you can only have two, like one personal item and your carry-on, right? So this was my personal item. So this fits right underneath the plane, oh, the plane. It fits right underneath the seat on the plane. And in here, I brought my laptop because I knew we were gonna get work done and I have homework, which I'm gonna do right after I finish filming this. My notebook from school and I have to take notes. So one of my books, from school. I was so mad that I had to bring this, but I have so much reading to do. It's not even funny. My charger in here, my case for my glasses, cause I'm nearsighted, some cough drop. I brought a tea bag. I'm actually gonna make that later. Some flip flops. These are from Tory Burch, love them. Some sunglasses. So one pair of sunglasses, cause you know, that's like the first step. Don't bring a ton of shit. Don't bring three pairs of sunglasses if you're going away for the weekend. Just, just bring one pair, okay? My makeup brushes. So I, I did bring a lot of makeup brushes, which if you're not like a makeup person, obviously you don't need to do that, so you would save space. But because I'm going to a makeup event tomorrow, I have to make sure that my makeup's on point and I have to bring like a lot of brushes. So yeah, big thing of makeup brushes. And that's pretty much all that fit in here. It barely closed but I made it work. This little bag has my underwear and bra, but I'm not gonna show you that, it's just my underwear and bras. I packed two Ziploc bags. One is a little bit smaller, the other one's much bigger. So in this huge Ziploc bag, I might as well just show you everything that's in here. I wanna be quick about it, but I have a hairbrush, bum bum cream. All of these products that I'm showing you, by the way, um, they meet the TSA requirement of being less than 3.4 ounces. If you're not sure if you can bring something on the plane, just make sure that it's less than 3.4 and you're fine and make sure that you put it in a Ziploc bag. Pixie recently sent me some stuff, so I brought this peel and polish because I want to make sure that my skin looks really good because again, I have that makeup event tomorrow. Uh, Pixie Skin Treats Jasmine Oil Blend. This smells so good and I love putting this on before I go to sleep. <laughs> my Foreo Luna 2 that everybody on Instagram thought was a vibrator because I actually didn't have this in the bag. I had it like out because I almost forgot it when I was leaving so I just stuck it in or else I would have put it in here. And I posted like the inside of my luggage on the gram and everyone thought it was a vibrator. It's not. I don't want to ramble about this too much but it's amazing. My Pixie Glow Mist, so like a setting spray. I feel like the sun's gonna go away really fast so I have to hurry. Um, this is my face cleanser and I think, I think that this is from Bobbi Brown, but I had to put it in my, in like another little thingy so I could fit it in here because it was in the 
larger container so I just put it in like this old brush cleaner thing and of course I washed it and that's what I've been using with this I brought some retinol night cream from origins SPF 40 from super goop another mask this is for like your t-zone from pixie um, a night serum and a day cream from origins it's the ginseng one it's so good um, millister cleansing water this is amazing to take off your eye makeup with a cotton ball. A little Pixie travel size um, toner. Toothpaste. So everything you saw here, less than 3.4 ounces. And yeah, that way you don't have to check in a bag. And there's travel size everything, so it's so easy. Okay, and if not, you can always buy the little like containers that you can put your product in. They have them everywhere, the dollar store, Target. In this little baggie, I basically just have chapstick, eye cream, um, lash serum that I put on my lashes before I go to sleep. This was pretty much empty, and it's the Moroccan Oil Protective Prevent Spray, so it's like, you know, for your hair. And yeah, it was pretty much empty, so I mixed it with um, this Shea Moisture leave-in conditioner slash like hair smoother. So I mixed it in here, um, and that way I can just spray it. And as you can see, my hair is really shiny. I washed it last night, and um, yeah, as opposed to carrying like the huge um, bottle that I actually use, if this makes sense. You gotta be smart. Looks like that. My makeup in three bags. A regular Zuka bag. These are the bags that come with like um, the Zuka makeup bags, which is amazing because everything fits in here. These two little baggies that Benefit sent me. And so in here we just have like smaller things like eyeliner, mascara, travel size mascara, of course. Um, I brought one lip liner. I know like three brow pencils because I'm pretty big on brows, brow powder, and yeah. Oh, and liquid liner. In here, I have um, a lash curler, some lip products, face primer from Benefit. It's pretty small. A teeny tiny highlighter from NARS. Like I'm telling you, I packed all my teeny tiny stuff. Um... And actually, this is another lip liner from NARS. It's actually a lipstick, but I use it as a lip liner. Um, and two concealers, which is huge for me because I normally bring like 10. I'm lying. Three concealers because one of them I use as an eye primer. Um, a sharpener for the lip stuff. And, oh, this is my lip plumper because I don't have like lip filler. So I use that to plump my lips. And, yes, it works. And, yeah. So, majority of stuff in here, lips. I have makeup wipes. You can get these at Costco. You can get like a huge pack with like a ton for 12 bucks. Highly recommend. Um, some new brushes that I haven't used. I'm going to use them tomorrow. A face brush. Um, one foundation. Okay, I brought one from NARS. And this is in the shade Valencia. And it's the Natural Radiant Longwear. My translucent setting powder from Laura Mercier. Three options for lashes, and I'm wearing a pair right now. And these are from Mink and Lashes. So I'm gonna put the link below for these lashes because I love them. Makeup sponge from Laura Mercier that I haven't used yet. So I figured why not bring a new one on this trip instead of bringing my dirty one that I have to clean. One blush palette, a fun palette from Urban Decay that is so old, but it has some nice bright colors in there because, like I said, just in case, I feel like being fun tomorrow. A small perfume. This is Le Dissi, um Isimiyaki. Love this stuff, and it's travel size. Um, deodorant. <laughs> Bare Minerals Face Powder. This is in neutral medium, and that's what I'm wearing right now on my face. I don't have, like, any liquid stuff. I don't even have concealer on. Just Bare Minerals everywhere. Because I'm going to put that stuff on tomorrow, and I didn't feel like doing that. Hula Face Bronzer. Foolproof Brow Powder. And 
another little palette from NARS that I just got. And then I brought one more. So palette wise, this is all I brought, which is really good for me because normally I wanna bring everything. And yeah, so that's everything that's in here. That's all I brought makeup wise. I didn't bring a blow dryer because I knew my friend would have one and that takes so much space. I brought a hair wand from Numi, my straightener from Numi. These two things go with me everywhere. One hat, like this is the least amount of clothes I think I've ever packed. So these pants are from Target. They're actually by Exhilaration. They're like these pleather pants that I get so many compliments on and they're so comfortable and I've had them for years. So when you're packing pants, you just wanna make sure that you roll them up, even with jeans. I did bring a round brush for when I blow dry my hair. A tank top, a black one. I have this little jacket from Zara, which is so comfortable. And this also goes with me everywhere. Like had I known how much I was gonna wear this jacket, I would have probably bought three. This is a little track jacket. I don't remember where I got this from. I want to say maybe TJ Maxx and it's black because I love to wear black clearly. Comfortable but warm because airports could be kind of cold um, and planes too. They always blast the AC in there. This sweater that I just got at my school which is comfy because like I'm in LA so it's not cold here but at the same time like you could get sick if you're just wearing nothing. You know what I mean? Like I can't be walking around in tank tops. So. This is from my school, I go to San Jose State. But I thought it was so cute because it's like cropped at the bottom so it's very trendy. So I had to get it. And then I brought this jean jacket that I wore on the way here. It's so comfortable, it's from Road Division. I'll also put the link below. Love this jean jacket, it's so, so comfy and it's so cute. A pair of light jeans, these are from Gap. I love them and I'm going to wear them to the event tomorrow with a pair of heels that I brought and like a black shirt. Oh my God, the sun is going away. It's okay, we're, we're gonna get through this. Jamma shorts, love sleeping in shorts. And then I have the matching tank top that goes with them as well. They're so comfortable. I got these at TJ Maxx, love that place. And I believe I got these at Target. These are just a pair of like comfy pajama pants to just like lounge around the house because um, sometimes I get cold. This shirt from Zara, which is like a cute little tie up shirt that I'll probably wear tomorrow with the like jeans. And the heels I'm wearing, I'm gonna show you, they're black and they're like strappy. And then this is the second tank top that I brought. It's like a regular black tank top from Forever 21. I was wearing this earlier today. Some comfy workout pants that I wore on the way over here and I'll probably wear on the way back. This little top to sleep in. This is cute because it's like I could either sleep in this or like wear it out, you know? One pair of sneakers, the flip flops, you saw them already, and my heels. That's it. These were only $100 at TJ Maxx and they are so comfortable. They're the most comfortable heels I own. I'm going to wear them when I graduate because I've already decided that. I think about my graduation a lot because I'm just like, fuck, I just want to be done with school already. That's literally everything that I brought. I showed you everything and it was so easy to even bring to the living room because it's like I didn't bring that much stuff. And then obviously what I'm wearing right now what I forgot to bring. I only brought two pairs of socks. So that is something that I forgot to like pack. I hope that this video gave you guys some ideas on how to pack light. It's definitely doable. Uh, it's not easy because it is hard to narrow things down. Like I am that person that really does want to bring everything, but I think it is important to learn how to just pack the essentials and not overpack. Because I'm so, like, ever since I've been here, I haven't really made a mess in her room because I didn't bring that many stuff. So I'm going to end this video because the sun is going away. I'm glad I was able to record what I did. Um, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe because I know my channel's pretty dead, but I am promising myself that I will create more content, especially because 
school ends next month and then I have like two months off and I told myself I'm going to upload videos. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon.